which is this one. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Cool. Um, so uh, thanks, everybody, for, for coming to the last talk. Uh, it's been a long day, so I really appreciate that you all come here to, to still uh, listen to me and talking about CLI plugins. Um, and since I only have uh, five minutes, uh, let's jump right in there. Uh, who here is using uh, CLI plugins already? And who has more than 10 CLI plugins installed? So I, I hope I'll inspire you all like, to, to go home and, and install all the CLI plugins because they're, they're pretty darn awesome. Uh, so first, what are CLI plugins? Let's uh, quickly clarify that. They are small little binaries that you have available locally that add functionality to your CLI. Uh, they are typically written in Go because they have to communicate with the main uh, CLI process over RPC, and uh, that's just the easiest if you do that over, over Go. Um, this is what it looks like on my local machine. You can see some of the CLI plugins. I have many, many more. Uh, you can see some of the CLI plugins that I have installed. And what uh, that does, you see all the marked in red here, are all the extra commands that I get from installing a CF CLI plugin. Um, so you might ask, no, hey, Johannes, said, how did you get all these great CLI plugins? Uh, let me tell you. Uh, you just go to this URL, and if you go to this URL, you'll see uh, this uh, website, which is basically a list of uh, a bunch of available uh, CLI plugins. There, there are many more. There, there are some CLI plugins that are available on GitHub, and you really have to go uh, hunt them down and find them. But uh, this is a good comprehensive list that will get you started. Um, and this is a time for me to, to make a quick confession. I, I subtitled the talk, uh, extending, CLI, uh, extending Cloud Foundry for Fun and Profit. This is all available for free, right? So um, you actually you will not be able to, to make a profit. So I just lured you in here thinking that you'll get rich writing CLI plugins. But um, So I, I'm going to change the talk to extending Cloud Foundry for fun and uh, just general awesomeness, right? Um, so how do you install all these plugins? So there are lots of them available. We just saw that. How do you install them? Two very simple commands. Uh, first, make sure you are using the correct uh, plugin repository. Uh, you can use your own plugin repository. Uh, the CF community plugin repository is the one that I just showed you. That's uh, the one where we have the most CLI plugins. But you can write your own uh, repository if you have some plugins that you only want to make available to your organization. And then CF install plugin to install a plugin from that repository. You can also use the install plugin command to install a local binary, or you can uh, give it a HTTP URL if your plugin is sitting somewhere. So there are lots of ways to install a plugin. Uh, now that we know how to install them, I want to give you some inspiration on which plugins you actually want to install. And so the first one is the most important one. Uh, you all know this, right? You, you're working with Cloud Foundry and you're trying to push an app and it's somehow not working, it's not coming up, you have an issue, you have a bad day, you're really you're sitting in front of your computer, swearing it, want to throw your keyboard against the wall. That's uh, exactly the situation for which I wrote this plugin. Uh, CF Tell Me A Choke, it's kind of like the one thing that hopefully will, will lighten up your day a little bit. Um, it's a, 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 the plugin is on my, on my GitHub. I'll, I'll publish it at some point. So, but yeah, you can use this to help you a little bit. Um, on a more serious note, I think the coolest plugin to me is CF Top, which shows you all your um, applications and, and how they're doing on Cloud Foundry. Uh, equally cool is CF Local, which allows you to uh, compile your local application into a Docker container and run it there, which is cool if you have issues with build pack and you want to do some build pack uh, debugging. So this allows you to do it all locally and you don't have to push it up to Cloud Foundry. Uh, the first plugin I always install is the update CLI plugin. It allows me to always keep my CLI up to date with a simple command. And then uh, if you are interested in blue-green deployments, zero downtime -down deployments, there's a bunch of them. Uh, everybody thinks it's a cool thing to write a, a blue-green deployment plugin. Uh, I might write one at some point too. Um, yeah, so, but here's also a list of, of some available already. And there's so many more, uh, some to connect to your services, easily connect to your MySQL databases, uh, some to work uh, with different Cloud Foundry environments if you have them. Uh, CF Open is sweet to just uh, very quickly open a browser with your application in it, and uh, many, many more. But there's always a case when you really want to write your own CLI plugin. And believe me, that's not that difficult. It's actually pretty darn easy. The APIs is uh, well thought through and well documented. And there are use cases where you really want to write your own plugin, especially if you have a bash script that looks like this. Uh, I wrote this, I, I really, uh, I'm ashamed. Um, and you want to turn this into something that looks more like this. Um, so you go from ugly, untestable, 
unextendable bash to, to a nice CLI plugin that is written in Go that you can test and extend. That's exactly when you want to write your, your own Go, uh, CLI plugin. Um, other use cases for writing your own um, plugin, if you want to make sure you integrate well with your own services, uh, for example, if you have Prometheus and you want to link from an application straight to a Prometheus dashboard, or you uh, want to make sure that your applications are nicely integrated in your Jenkins pipeline, so there are lots of use cases where it really would make sense to write your own. Um, if you just want to make sure that your users have a better time using Cloud Foundry, it's easier for them. There are many use cases where you can write your own plugin, and if you just want to be generally awesome, that's also when you want to write a plugin. And with that, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, enjoy the day tomorrow, and enjoy the uh, festivities tonight, and uh, wish you all a, a good evening. Bye. <laughs>